everyone welcome to another live today i uh, see there are a lot of children who have joined us live today i hope you all had a good day it's rainy today it's raining it's really bad rain and you can describe the rain in your own words because you will be doing creative writing today no so you, all of you must have given some of your entrances and you must be left with some more entrances and some of you must have uh, been over with the entrances so how was your entrances you must have given kent is done bexley is done southern stage one is do uh, done you're waiting for stage two now so you have another week for going next week you'll have stage two you have new state left you have signal is left and you have other old schools qe stage two is left so you have all the uh, qe doesn't have stage two does it I'm just joking, I know. <laughs> so, QE don't have stage 2, they only have one stage. And you must be, all your entrances must be, some of the entrances must be done and some would be still left. So, today we'll be doing creative writing. I'll be telling you some techniques, some ways how to do it. And we also have some books for creative writing. If you go on 11 plus help to success website, there are some books which or what we normally recommend you all to do from our website. They're really nice books. That's not Amisha's Learning website, but that's our partner company which makes books for us. And we really like using their books a lot. Today, I have some examples for you all. Before I start my creative writing class, I just want you all, I want to give you some examples how to write a creative writing. I mean, if, if you have some topic about descriptive writing, how would you go about it? And how would you write it? This is something which all of you really get confused and you don't know how to start it and how to end it. So these are the things which will I will tell you uh, today in the live. And I hope this video is helpful. And before I start, please, I recommend you all to like this video. And if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go and do it. We are nearly 4K now, thanks to you all. And we want to expand our YouTube channel so that we could help more of children like you all to prepare for 11 plus entrances. So if you guys are ready, should I start sharing my screen? As usual, I will put a chat here for you all to say hi to me. Just for me to know how many of you have joined, your hi would come here like that. Can you see it? So get started. Start saying hi to me if you want me to get started. Come on, guys. Your time starts now. Let's see how many of you can say hi in a minute. Then I'll off the chat on the screen. Okay, I got, I've got three. And I know there are 15 of you who are here. So I need 15 highs coming on. I need 15 height to come here now. So I got, I got so many of you saying hi to me. Good guys, keep going. Abby, you did it again. No? Okay, so thank you guys for saying hi. So let's share my screen. I will hide myself so you all can just see the screen and you won't only see me. So let's, these are some of the examples I have made for you all for you to know how to write about. So if you have an example, if you have something like this in your creative writing, because you all just look at the picture and you'll say, oh my God, we need, I need to describe the picture, but you did not read the question carefully what they are basically asking you. You should spend 30 minutes on this section. Plan before you begin and leave some time to check your accuracy at the end. Use a wide vocabulary, paragraph correctly and be descriptive. Study the picture carefully. Copy the quotation, two weeks passed, and it happened again, and then continue the story. You may leave the story on a cliffhanger if you wish. Okay, so basically, what does they mean by this? They really want you... So basically they want you to start looking at the picture and they also want you to copy the quotation, uh, the quotation. I had used this creative writing example, the one I'm giving you, I had used this in our mocks for St. Olives and 
almost all the boys who did this creative writing didn't read it carefully it says that you have to start with the quotation you need to copy the quotation and you need to start with two weeks past and it happened again so what they all started they just started writing about the looking at the picture they just start writing about the picture but they didn't understand what actually they were supposed to do it so you have to be really careful if you have something like this you need to look at the picture and you also have to look at what they are basically asking you to do so if you look at this one in this they want you to look at the picture and they want you to copy the quotation and they want you to start with two weeks has passed and it happened again and continue the story so i'll show you some example what you could have done you could have started with this and use this somewhere in it and you could have started like two weeks have passed and it happened again and after that you would have said it was as i was a few space from the door that i began to have the sensation of being washed through the darkness the air on the back of my neck stood up and my heart began to race i turned around quickly but there was no one there so you could start with saying two weeks have passed and it happened again so this was something you could have started with and after writing that quotation you would have just wrote about what you saw in the image it was as i was a few paces from the door that i began to have the sensation of being watched through the darkness the hairs on the back of my neck stood up and my heart began to race i turned around quickly but there was no one there i stepped forward cautiously my hand hovering over the doorknob the feeling of unease persisted and i couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong i took a deep breath and tried to calm myself down maybe it was just my imagination playing tricks on me as i entered the room i noticed that everything looked out of place the furniture was overturned and there were signs of struggle everywhere i knew instantly that i was in trouble i reached for my phone but found that it was dead i heard a noise in the corner of the room and whirled around there was a shadowy figure lurking in the darkness i couldn't make out its features but i knew that it was dangerous i tried to make a run for it but the figure was too quick it tackled me to the ground and started to strangle me i fought back with all my strength but it was no use i knew that i was going to die just when i thought it was all over the figure suddenly stopped and ran off i managed to get to my feet gasping for breath i stumbled out of the room and collapsed in the hallway as i lay there i couldn't help but think about what had just happened i had come dangerously close to losing my life that night but somehow i had managed to survive i realized that life was precious and that every moment counted from that day on i vowed to live my life to the fullest and cherish every single day so this is one of the example i have done and if you if uh, you all had to write you could have described about the lights what's happening to the lights you could have also said about the chair you could have described the chair so you have to be really careful when you have something like this in your creative writing you have to think about the quotation you should have started with this quotation two weeks have passed and it happened again so you could have just started with this quotation and the example what i've shown you guys so this is something you have to be really careful about what you have to write because sometimes you just feel like oh i just have to describe the picture and you just start describing the picture and please don't just write around one paragraph because i have seen that some of you don't even like writing big big paragraphs you just like to write small small just write a one paragraph and you're done always think about your starting what should come in the middle and what should come in the end always make a plan make a rough plan before you starting any creative writing what are you writing because remember there are so many children who would be doing the same thing what you're doing so you need to be different than them and to be different from them you have to think 
something which is unique, something which is different. And you have to use a lot of adjectives. You have to use a lot of quotations and question marks and something you should create a character if you want to, to think about things which you think is different from others. So I'll show you another example now. This is one example where you have a picture and you have to describe. Another one is that you will just get something like this. Many people argue that children are not enough, uh, given enough freedom to explore the world and are over protect, protected these days. Write your thoughts in response to the statement. You may choose to argue or to disagree, uh, choose to agree or disagree or consider more than one viewpoint. So basically, you know that sometimes your parents are really overprotective about you all. This is a very common topic. So remember that in creative writing, you would be getting topics which are very, they are always in the news. So try watching news before going to your entrance. Like these days, we know that climate change is some of the topics which is very popular these days. It's everywhere in the news, in the newspaper, in the news. So try thinking about climate change. What has climate change done? And think about that. And you also have that the World Cup is coming. So you might get a topic about the World Cup and other things like that. So think about what's going on. Because they always want to see that you have read the news or you see the, the television, the you know, newspapers and you know what's going around. So always try looking at the topics which are very popular these days and try making, thinking about them and yours actually. Yeah. So you could think about all these topics, what's coming these days and also you also have something which is coming which i feel like is that uh, the war is going on so you might also say that how has the refugees coming in this country has affected you because i know some of the your all of you say that there are so many children refugee children have joined your classes so how do you feel about them so the topic would be something which is in the news and you all are familiar with that you won't get something which is unusual so think about these things try looking around and try making a point about these things so let's go on the second one basically Many what they're asking argue that children are not given enough freedom to explore the world and are overprotected these days write your thoughts in response to this statement you may choose to agree or disagree or consider more than one viewpoint so in this you have to make arguments I have done a lot of videos about arguments, agree and disagree. You could look at, uh, you could go and look at Amish's Learning Tuition YouTube channel and you could see for, just go and click on the playlist of creative writing and you would see that there are lots of topics and choose the topic for uh, you agree and you disagree because I have also given you some points. How should you start when you agree with something and what you should do when you disagree? I know there were some children who did the summer course with us and they did the creative writing summer course and I did cover this topic in the creative writing course with them. And I will be also doing one course coming uh, tomorrow for the children who are giving stage two. And if you're giving stage two for Southern Grammar Schools, just try clicking uh, on a Mishra's Learning Tuition page and just buy the course because we will be covering a lot of topics in creative writing in that one. And we will be doing a lot of maths in that. And it's really nice one to buy. It's really nice course. And we always have a good success rate for the children who do it. So let's leave that aside. And let's think about this topic. So if you have a topic like this, you might have a, you might have something to agree and disagree. So if you have something like this, what should come in your thoughts? Don't start with, I agree. You know, it took me at least one lesson explaining all the children who were doing the summer course that if you have something in which you have to agree and disagree just don't say that i disagree blah 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 and start writing you have to think about a point first describe the topic what they're asking you about then after you describe the topic please then say that you agree or disagree don't just start with i disagree 
So let's see what they are saying now. What to be included in this creative writing, it is crucial to strike a balance between allowing children to explore the world and ensuring their safety. Overprotection can hinder a child's growth and independence, while a lack of guidance can leave them vulnerable to potential dangers. So basically, you always need to have a balance, that's true. To begin your response, consider presenting both sides of the argument. Acknowledge the perspective that children are not given enough freedom to explore the world. Discuss how strict rules and constant supervision can restrict their ability to learn from personal experiences and make their own decisions. Highlight the importance of allowing children to develop problem-solving skills and independence. Next, present the opposing viewpoint. Emphasizing the significance of protecting children from potential harms. Discuss how increased urbanization and technological advancements have created new risks for children, such as online dangers and increased traffic. Explain that overprotecting children is an understandable response to these concerns and can help ensure their well-being. After addressing the two main perspectives, you can provide your own opinion or consider additional viewpoints. If you choose to agree or disagree with the statement, provide evidence and logical reasoning to support your stance. Alternatively, you may consider a middle ground approach, suggesting strategies that balance freedom and protection. For example, promoting supervised exploration, teaching children about potential risks, and gradually granting more independence as they mature. Ensure that your response is well organized, with a clear introduction, body paragraphs addressing different viewpoints, and a conclusion summarizing your main points. Remember to use evidence, examples, and logical reasoning to support your arguments effectively. When proofreading your draft, pay attention to sentence structure, grammar, and overall clarity. Ensure that your ideas flow logically and that your writing is coherent and concise. If possible, ask someone to review your work for additional feedback and suggestions. Keep in mind that this is just a general guidance, and it's important to tailor your response based on your personal beliefs and experiences. Good luck. Okay, so basically, this is some things I've just added, some things you could add, but you could also say in your way, basically, why you think that you should control children going online, because you know that there's so much of thing happen like people try to be children and they try to have online safety is always there so if you argue and if you disagree you have to think about the points what we just mentioned so i have made an example for you all to tell you how should you start writing you could start with a different way but this is some things which i want you all Firstly, to do it age appropriate independence risks oh. secondly let me just do it for communication me potential risks secondly open let me just stop that it's let me stop it and do it again for you all firstly age appropriate independence is essential younger children may need more guidance and protection while older children should gradually be given more freedom and responsibility assessing a child's readiness for certain freedoms is crucial considering their maturity and understanding of potential risks Secondly, open communication plays a pivotal role. Parents should establish a safe space for children to discuss their experiences, fears, and concerns. This dialogue allows parents to adapt their level of protection based on their child's evolving needs and growing maturity. Thirdly, education is key. Teaching children about risks and consequences empowers them to make informed decisions. Instead of sheltering them from all potential dangers, parents can. Equip their children with problem-solving skills, critical thinking abilities, and emotional resilience. In conclusion, the concern that children are overprotected and lack the freedom to explore the world holds merit. It is essential to balance safeguarding their well-being and allowing them the space to grow and learn through experience. Parents and caregivers should adapt their approach to suit each child's unique needs and gradually grant them the autonomy to become self-reliant, responsible, and confident individuals ready to navigate the complexities of the modern world. In this example, there's one thing which has not been added, argument, saying that I'm in favor or I'm against. So this is some of the things you could write in your arguments, but you have to think about why are you in favor these are the things you need to ask yourself why you're in favor. And secondly, 
why you are against so if you are against you should say that yes i'm against that children should not be given freedom because of on the ongoing crimes because there are so many crimes going on if you look at the news every single day there's one crime or the other going on and if you are in favor you could say that yes i'm in favor as a parent i want my child to get freedom and i want my child to explore the world but that freedom should be there with me so in these things you could add or these things coming up so you could add that so this is something you all could do and you're saying world cup is past the cricket world cup is still coming up this year or next year so we still have one world cup coming so you have to think about these things if you are going in favor of the arguments you have to think about that so this is some of the things you could get like something like arguments or the one describe the picture and the last example after that we'll just start the proper creative writing class with you all is this one now write a story or part of a story with alone as the title where you suddenly realize that you are on your own it may be true or entirely made up but it should include your thoughts and feelings as well as what happened so basically you have to think about you need to think about a story and you have to start with alone as the title so alone is as a title so you have to think that you're alone and then you have to write about that so when you have something like this because they're telling you to write about your thoughts and feelings so you have to think about your thoughts and your feelings what thoughts come in your mind when you think that so you have to think about the thoughts and the feelings what do you think about it basically like i'm alone you could make up a story so i have made an example for you all you could see that and you could also make your own example so let's read the example now the wind howled outside the cabin rattling the window panes as i sat huddled by the flickering fire a distant memory kept gnawing at the corners of my mind and then it struck me like a bolt of lightning i was alone at first a quiet, unsettling sensation crept over me like a shadow. I had been absorbed in a gripping novel, completely unaware of my surroundings. Then, as if someone had flipped a switch, the realization hit me with a jolt of unease. I glanced around the cozy cabin, where moments ago, the laughter and chatter of friends had filled the air. The empty chairs, the cold mugs of tea, and the forgotten board game on the coffee table were stark reminders of their recent presence. I had been so engrossed in the book that I hadn't noticed them slipping away, leaving me behind. Friends. Thoughts tumbled, open, and a biting gust. Panic swelled within me, erasing heart and clammy hands betraying my growing anxiety. I dashed to the front door, flinging it open, and a biting gust of wind greeted me. The driveway was empty, the cars gone, and there was no trace of my friends. Thoughts tumbled through my mind like a turbulent river. Had they left me here intentionally? An ill-conceived prank? Or was it my own detachment, my obsession with the written word that had driven them away? I tried calling their... I tried calling their phones, but each attempt went straight to voicemail. My heart sank with each unanswered ring. Once a warm and inviting refuge, the cabin had transformed into a desolate, haunting place. Alone, the word echoed in my head, resonating with a profound sense of abandonment. I had often cherished solitude. But this was a stark and unsettling isolation. The hours stretched before me, the fire dwindled, and darkness crept in from outside. As I sat there, alone, my thoughts turned inward. I pondered my choices and the distractions that had kept me from the warmth of companionship. The realization stung but illuminated the importance of being present in the moment. Alone in that cabin, I vowed to cherish the company of others, to be more mindful, and to never let the spell of solitude blind me to the world outside, and as the first rays of dawn broke, I knew that when my friends returned, I would greet them with gratitude and a newfound appreciation for the beauty of human connection. So this is an example about the creative writing, what it was, and that creative writing is basically which tells you that write a story 
or a part of the story uh, with alone as the title. So you could also describe this in different ways. So these are some of the examples I wanted to do with you all. And let's stop sharing the screen for a minute. And I'll share the screen now of actually what we are going to do today. So these were some of the examples which I basically wanted to do with you. Now, today what we are going, basically what are we going to do with you all is the, the mystery is the mystery house, basically. So to use imagination to create a story situation. So let's take, let's create a story situation now. So your starter is for you all to start is you need to write down all the things that you could put in the box. So if you think about the mysterious house, a mystery house, so what are the things you think you will be describing in this title? So let's see what you guys write down. Now it's your time to do it. So this is your topic and try thinking what you guys will write. You want to uh, talk about a baby in this. Write down all the things that you could put in the box. So what you could put in the box when you think about this title. So let's see what you are doing. A ghost. Yeah. So you have to think about basically they're asking you what you guys are not getting. Write down all the things that you could put in a box. So you're imagining about the story situation. So you're thinking about the story and you're going to add some things. It's like your brain. This box is basically like your brain. So what would you put in the box? And think about it now and then let me know what you will do it. A laptop in a box but you're thinking about the story you're not getting it you're thinking about the story and you're putting some things in the box this this box is basically your brain so what would you put you you can't put a laptop will you be thinking about the laptop so let's get started because you all are not thinking properly about the topic so you're walking down a street at night when suddenly a door opens from one of the nearby houses. At first, you think nothing of it, but you realize that there is no one there. No one opened the door. You start to get this feeling that you should walk into the house. So imagine that you are walking in the house. You're walking on the street one day. And you just see and then you suddenly a door opens from one of the nearby houses. So you're walking what the scene is there and you're walking there. And what do you just notice? You just notice that a house just opened the doors. What would you feel? So basically, you have to think about your feelings. Describe how are you feeling at this moment? What does the house look like? Why do you feel that you should walk into the house? Do you feel scared? So imagine you all are walking in the street and a house just opens the door to you. So how would you guys, what would you guys think about the house? How would you basically, what will be the feelings? What will come in your house? So let me make the picture a little big for you guys so that you think now, think now. I'll put it a little up for you all. And we are just thinking about these things now. Describe how are you feeling at this moment. So basically, a note for help, okay? You won't just ask for help. Because if you just ask for help, it would be something like, why would you just ask for help? Would you go inside and explore the house or you will just keep walking or you will just change your route. You will just go a different direction. So you have to think about these things 
as human nature you would like to explore and know what's going on you would be scared yes obviously you'll be really scared but getting scared doesn't mean that that stops you from going in you'll be scared and then you have to describe your feelings when you feel scared so basically is that as you walk through the door and into the hallway of the house you feel a cold chill run down your spine you look to one of one of the many pictures on the wall and see a wedding picture for a split second it looks like the bride's veil was waving in the wind so basically as you walk in through the door and into the hallway of the house you feel a cold chill run down your spine you look to one of the many pictures on the wall and see a wedding picture for a split second it looked like the bride's veil was waving in the wind so the next thing is you have to describe this now describe how you walked into the house how are you feeling at this moment what does the inside of the house look like what did you start thinking when you looked at the wedding picture okay so now it's your turn now so what would you guys do if you have something like this you're walking in you have walked in that's a good one i'll i'll just put your one on the top your stomach begin to launch that's good and another one is saying that you change routes but house appears again so you walk in that's the thing i'm asking you guys that's good one keep writing what you think it's coming come in your thoughts what do you think will be there and when you walk in the house remember it's, it's dark it's really dark inside the house you keep walking you're scared and it's so dark and afterwards when it's you're scared you just see that a wedding picture on the wall so looking at the wedding picture you feel more scared so again that's and i'll just putting some of your thoughts what you guys are writing so you have to keep thinking how would you guys feel when you go inside this house so basically the things what you all have to describe is your feelings your thoughts your imaginations remember that creative writing is all about these things as much as you describe the more marks you will get so if you describe more you have to describe this picture so you have to describe what you feel basically a ghost touches your shoulder and feels a cold chill flow through him that's a nice one so basically you have to think about these things and basically when you writing creative writing something like that you have to because these are the things which i have always told everyone to do it that you have to describe uh, your feelings when you're walking inside the house how are you feeling at the moment so remember when you're describing your feelings don't use the words which are very commonly uh, the very common used like i feel i felt scared i felt very scared looking at the picture you have to think about other words than scared so think about other words from scared you could use describing when you moving in the house so look at this one i feel a cold chill run down your spine so this is another way of saying that you are your hands were cold you were basically very scared when you were walking inside the house imagine uh, basically when you are describing something in your creative writing always try describing in uh, using your five senses because whenever you use your five senses that would be a way you could describe it better so think about your five senses in all the different ways you could do so this is the way the first thing you have to describe first you are moving inside the house this is the house you are moving in and after you you had the courage to go inside the house this is what you saw you saw a wedding picture on the wall of the house what does inside the house look like again you have to describe how the inside of the house look like 
try making it as curvy as possible and try telling us how does the house look like i also have let me just put some of your imaginations what you guys are putting a ghost touches your shoulder and you feel a cold chill flow through him that's a nice one and i have a big one here let's put that one here the door virally shuts there's nothing to do but light a lamp and and remember uh, i like what you have written but there's nothing to do but light a lamp but how would you light a lamp because remember that this is you don't know anything about this house you're a stranger so you might use your phone torch to go around this house because you are aware you are a stranger yourself so don't try using things like i need to light a lamp or something because you are a stranger yourself in that house what does the inside of the house look like so also describe how the inside of the house look like what did you think uh, what did you start thinking when you look at the wedding picture so when i when you when you looked at the wedding picture what are your thoughts that came inside your mind so you have to think about your thoughts so imagine you're going to a house which is really dark you have nowhere to go you're going inside you are scared you are shivering with you are shivering with terror because you are so scared and then the only thing the light is gone there's no light in the house the only way you could have the light is from your phone light and also that also lasts for a couple of minutes because your battery runs away so how would you guys think about doing afterwards what would you think and looking at the wedding picture what are your thoughts you know that this house belongs to someone who was married or something happened to the bride and the groom or something and let's go on the next one so let's see what the next one tells us you now you hear a noise from a room you walk down the hallway and towards the room but the door is locked with a padlock and chain there is no way to get in you press your ear to the door and listen so basically when you're hearing a noise in the room you start going towards that room remember that you are scared you are actually really scared and you walk down the hallway and towards the room but the door is locked when you try opening the door the door is locked and so basically there's no way to get get in you press your ears to the door and you listen you try to listen what's happening to the door who is inside so what did you hear basically how did you feel when you hear the noise what did it sound like how did you feel when you noticed the padlock and chain what do you think could be in there what can you hear when you put your ear to the door so these are the another things you have to describe because remember that you are basically going in a house which is dark you are going inside and you see that the there is a lock in the house then the, the the door is open sorry there's no lock in the house the door is open you start walking you see a family picture is there about a newly married couple maybe and when you start walking little more further down you see there is the door double door which is locked how do you feel you feel like you're really really scared you hear sounds like a ghost sounds coming like Uh, sounds basically the sounds which scare you so how would you feel what can you hear again remember that in this creative writing they keep on asking you again and again to describe your feelings so you have to think about your feelings and you have to describe in a way which is in a very good way which is different from others what can you hear when you put your ears to the door I think so someone is running really good so let's put this one on that's a nice one you run but through uh, playing your mind wall seems to be covered in blood that mean this is a really nice one because this uh, child is creating uh she's creating a terror basically 
are you too scared i really like the way you have describing really nice describing words so think about the describing words you have to think about some metaphor personifications metaphors all these things to describe you in your creative writing and this is something which will get you all get you really good marks so what can you hear when you put your ear to the door so you could say that you could hear someone screaming really really bad screams like someone needs help or you could just create another character when you could say that somebody inside there need help maybe that bride is the one who's been locked her husband locked her in and you want to help her so you could also create a scene like that or you create or you could create something else so there's another one i really like her i'll just put yours on the let me see can i put your on this because you have i'll just put a star in yours so i pinned your one on the top so everybody can see because you have written really nice so i have pinned your message on the top so everybody can see what to write really nice so remember that you have to again it's only creative writing for certain stage 2 no you also have for seen all of stage 2 so all the schools have creative writing and this is a basically a normal creative writing class so it could benefit from all the other channel also who are preparing for creative writing so let's see what else they are asking you now another thing is coming your way guys let's see what you are feeling quite scared and worried you try to leave but the front door is shut and you cannot open it you gulp and decide that you investigate the house further to see if there is anything you can use to open the door you turn away from the door and walk up the stairs at the top sits a black bag you decide to look in the bag so there's another thing now remember that you are locked and then you decide to look at the bag when you are moving you find a bag you want to escape from the house you are too scared looking at the sounds hearing the sounds darkness everywhere and what do you try to do you try to just go now and then you see a bag when you walking up the stairs so what things will happen now what emotions are you feeling when you can't open the front door describe yourself walking up the stairs what is in the bag what do you find in the bag that could potentially open the front door okay so now this is something you found what is it you found that there is a bag now you're feeling quite scared and worried because you don't know where to go you try to leave but the front door is shut and you cannot open it so what happens now you start running the running from the door and walk up the stairs you're walking up the stairs when you walking up the stairs what did you find at the top side there's a black bag you decide to look in the bag so that might have the keys of the house so you're looking at the bag and again remember that again you have to describe your emotions what emotions are you feeling when you can't open the front door describe yourself walking up the stairs what is in the bag so imagine your this house is a strange house everything what's happening in this house is strange you don't even know anything was happening in the house first you were locked secondly you saw a family picture you saw a picture of the bride and the groom and thirdly you see that the there's a door the door is locked and then you see that you are locked inside the house you can't go out and then when you're running up the stairs you find when you're running up the stairs you all can find a what do you say a bag so what are your feelings looking at the bag remember that you are not supposed to be opening strange things what's there from the bag it's basically like a haunted house and one of your 
instincts are saying that you should open the bag you might have the key for the house and you that key might you might open the house and just run away other instincts are saying that it might consist of something which is not really good so what would you do let's see what you have written i scrambled away from the hunted home a helen screen sent to the north pole and back i could barely hear now then now then now whispered that's a really good one so basically what would you guys feel looking at the bag what will this bag have the feelings what are your feelings looking at this bag So what are your feelings now? Feel like I stumbled unwillingly into the mysterious, into the oh that's a nice one. So basically, remember that what you guys are writing is really good. This is what I want you. I want the emotions to come from inside. Basically, now I'm going to tell you what are the things we should be including in our creative writing. Let's see. So this is what the next thing would be now. You are trying to open the door. See now. You try to open the door with the object you found, but it is no good. It breaks in your hand, and the door is still locked. You decide to go upstairs again, and you walk into one of the rooms. It feels cold in the room, and a strange sound seems to fill your ears. In the middle of the room is a cardboard box. You decide to open the box. How do you feel when the object breaks in your hand and you can't open the door? How do you feel when you walk into the room? How do you feel when the strange noise fills your ears? What do you think could be in the box? How do you feel as you approach the box? So basically, what are they telling you that when they saw something to open in the bag, they found something which could open the box. So that thing. is basically how do you feel when the object breaks in your hand you might find something like a lock which could open the door and in your hands and you can't open the door how do you feel when you walk into the room how do you feel when the strange noise fills your ears what do you think could be in the box how do you feel as you approach the box so basically you're looking at the box and you know that you need to open you need to go out yeah the box is op- uh, the this padlock key crumbles in my hand just like my hopes escaping that's a good one Be- because this had given you a hope that you would be ap- able to open and just go away just leave the house but that uh, did not happen why because the the padlock just could not open or you don't know how the key- you don't know the keys you don't know the code how to open it so how would you do it now so how would you do it now let's put some more now as i walked into the room i saw my mysterious box okay with a padlock key protecting it like securing people that's a nice one so basically again you have to think you have how do you feel when the object breaks in your hand the object has broken in your hand and you can't open the door the door is locked now you cannot open it how do you feel when you walk into the room so again you have to go again in the room and look for something else by which you could open the door and just run away imagine you are absolutely alone with a strange feeling again i keep saying that you have to express your feelings you have to express your feelings again and again to tell others how do you feel what do you think could be in the box how do you feel as you approach the box so you find this box here so how do you approach the box the box might have something you must be thinking you need to be strong now you're giving yourself a feeling that i need to be strong i need to open this door uh, the door and for that i need to open this box so i have to be really really strong a glad lens man that's a nice one so again you all have to describe your feelings and you have to think about 
what are the things you could say now you tried opening the box you had the courage you opened the box and unfortunately nothing was there so the box was absolutely empty uh, now how would what you feel in the box describe what is in the box is it something good or something bad how do you react so after looking at this remember this is your only hope to escape from this house this is your only hope for you to escape from your house and you really want to go off the house and you saw that this is the box and you really want to go out how would you guys feel now so think about it and try describing this for me and tell me how would you feel when you didn't find anything in the box so again what are they asking you is if you look throughout here there are they always asking you to describe your feelings so again everything is you have to describe how do you feel when the box you can't find anything from it's so big oh just went away let me put it little smaller so basically how do you feel everything in this creative writing you look like it wants you to keep telling about your feelings about the horror and about the things how would you feel because this box was the only thing so basically you need to think about this and is that something good or something bad how do you react so how you think you will react about this because there's nothing in the now after all these things you have to think about this now you need to think Decide about your ending does something bad or something good happen do you escape or are you trapped how are you feeling throughout so let's write something i'm finding a page where i could write something okay i'll write on this page only it's fine so basically now you have to think about your ending and you have to think you have to think about your ending does something bad or something good has happened were you able to escape so gather all the things this uh, i took this power point just to give you little way of thinking about when you have a topic like this what you guys should write so if you have a topic about a mysterious house or something like a mystery house how would you write so these are the things what we have done in this creative writing you could add all of them together and try describing them so going inside the house so I, i'll tell you all the things what you could write i am going back to the uh, powerpoint for you all to tell you how would you start writing so the powerpoint starts with your walking right so your first paragraph could be describing where you walking why you walking and where are you going in the dark so all these things could be in your first one and little bit information about the house and the second paragraph Yeah, you walk into the house. How are you feeling at the moment? And when you walking inside the house, describing you, you saw a picture or something, and how would you feel after looking at the picture? Again, your feelings. So your first paragraph should be everything related to the house. Second could be related to this bride, and then going up and finding a door which is locked and. about this door which is locked and you can't open it 
about the feelings about the sounds what you can hear from this door all these things your feelings again your emotions everything here so these are the things you could describe and secondly going up the house and finding what did you find do you if you guys remember going up the house and finding a bag you trying to open the bag and you did succeed opening the bag and you found a bag lock which was you could not even open it and you try opening it and what happened when you tried opening it it broke and then you found a box the box was absolutely empty how did you feel when you saw the box and in the last one not the least you need to describe were you able to open or were you inside and how did you feel throughout so what were your feelings when you were inside this house did you feel sad did you feel bad so again you have to describe your feelings and tell what do you feel so what do you think uh, about this one now describe your ending how would you describe your ending does something bad or something good happen do you, uh, do you escape or are you still strapped uh, trapped how are you feeling throughout so again when you have something like this you always have to keep describing your feelings throughout you have to describe your feelings how did you feel were you able to escape uh, you would say that at last you did not you were not able to escape in the night but when it was getting little uh, it was getting morning then you decided to break one of the windows and ask for help and then you, you might just escape somebody would have helped you and you would have just gone or you could say that to be continued this is something what everybody does they write they like writing in the end do be continued so just think a minute because we are done for today let me know about your feelings and uh, and how would you do a happy ending what what do you guys think it will be you are in slain right you okay how would you guys do a happy ending remember you could write about your ending something like you were you did escape or something always try uh, describing your feelings and i will be just sharing some feelings uh words what you could use in your creative writing for all the stages if you are just preparing for if you are gone in year 5 also and you are preparing for any of the schools which have creative writings what are the words you could describe for your feeling so i will try doing a powerpoint i'll put a powerpoint for you all or i'll search on net and tell you some words you could use for feelings in your creative writing because feelings is something <coughs> sorry it's everywhere in your creative writing so i will try finding some words which you all could use instead of feeling instead of excitement and instead of sad happy all these things because try using different words don't try using the same old words for everything yeah this is a nice one what you wrote i'll just put it in so others can have a look a crystal ball sucked into my a mixture of emotions rush through my that's a nice one so basically what you all are doing if you have learned from today is that you all should be using different words and emotions to describe your feelings and using the same old one yeah i hope this class was useful to you all and try writing in the description today what other classes you guys want me to do next week so i'm just thinking if i'm free next week i might not be able to do live but i'll be able to record a class for you all 
for next week because I have two weeks uh, stage two zero uh, sudden course going on every Thursday starting from tomorrow. So two weeks I'll be doing that course, but the third week I'll be free. So I can go live a week after that for you all. And if you really want to take advantage of our course, please, today is the last day or I'll, some people wanted me to extend for tomorrow morning. So I'll extend it till tomorrow because the course starts for tomorrow evening. It's online one. And in that we'll be covering creative writing and we'll be covering some math tricks for you all to know how to do maths. So there'll be something good for you all coming your way so that you get to the uh, your dream grammar school if you want to. That's all for today. And I thank you all for joining. You have joined us. And I'll see you guys back after a week again. Bye.